Dear students, welcome to your classes. This is going to be watercolor classes, and we will we will be teaching you some some object that we will be showing you today, which will be water uh, windmills. Okay, we will teach you that. Uh, we need you to have all of your materials. We have listed all of those materials in the website. So you need to check the website and the lessons before you come into the classes. Like for example, watercolor paints, palette, cartridge sheets, pencils and erasers, water container. These things are important. So keep them with you and the classes will begin now. Uh, Shreyas, if you're ready, all over to you, you can start the class. So as usual, yes, uh, let's begin with the uh, basic shapes and everything with the practice sheet I'm taking. So today's class is the watercolor windmill, which we are doing. So for that, the basic shape is required is all the cubes, cone shapes, and the rectangle. You can just roughly draw a straight line. It's okay even if it's not perfect, you can just scribble as this is the practice sheet we are doing. Right, this is the cube. And the next, you can just practice the straight lines. Circles, small circles. And a triangle shape. You can just roughly scribble and draw straight lines as many times as you can until you get the perfect shape, the perfect lines. Just make use of the sheet and just scribble and get the straight lines. Okay. small triangle shape 
placing it on the cube. Keep practicing. You just roughly scribble or go on top of the same line and just practice the straight lines until you get the straight lines. Okay. And uh, I'm watching some of the students using erasers. Please don't use erasers. This is just a practice sheet. You can roughly scribble, it's okay. This is just a practice we are doing. And this Grishma, what, what are you doing with the brush? Take, take the pencil and practice the shapes. Yes, I'll give another two minutes for you guys to practice these shapes before we begin the main sketch. Yes, Shriya Nayak, good, good, keep practicing.
Yes, all of you are ready for the main sketch? You guys can show me thumbs up if you are ready. Yes. All right. Let's take the main sheet. Those who have finished can keep all the watercolor brushes, water container, everything ready. So before we start, so yeah. Uh, I'm just making the straight line here. Take the HP pencil or the 2B pencil and you have to draw very lightly. And as we practice the cube and the triangle, And that shapes comes here. Just observe and follow me. Okay. And the straight line comes here. Don't make it too thick. And the straight lines with it comes here. Okay, just very light. It also goes on the pressure. Don't give too much pressure for the sketch. Shreyas, just a word. Um, keep your left hand on the top top corner. Yes. Yeah, because it is brightening yeah. with your hand being there. So just just be there. Yes. Yes.
But what if I keep the brushes now? Will not improve him much. I think hand is. Yes. Okay then. Either the right hand or the left hand. It is coming bright. Yes. Yes. Yes, so Sriyan, I, I can't see your lines properly because of the lighting you have. You can take it a little closer. Yes, yes. Yes, Sriyan, I, it's, it's good. Your lines are good. And Anishka, yeah, good work. Keep it up. Yes, Achyut, your work is good. Tanisha, good. Yes, so uh, Hariharan, yes. Good, good. But your uh, your cube is little slant. Make it. Can you make it straight? Ariharan. Okay. So yeah, this is the sketch. Before we begin the watercolors, let's tape it. If you don't have the masking tape, it's fine. Yes. So shall we start with the painting? No. Yes. We'll wait for some more time. So those who have finished can keep your palettes, colors, water container, everything ready. Yes, so we are using watercolors today. Watercolors.
Yes. Shall we start with the colors? Yes. Please show me thumbs up so I can. Yes. Okay. So I'll be taking the 14 size brush, the flat brush. And then with the plain water, I'm just going for the background with only water. The wet on wet technique, which we did last time, hope you guys remember. But make sure you don't get inside the house windmill which we are doing. Just for the background, I'm just giving the water wash. Yes, this is wet on wet technique. Okay. Give a quick moment, he'll be back. Meanwhile, I'm hoping everybody would have completed till now.
So looking at all of your work right now, can anybody tell me what is the technique that we are using in the chat box? Is it wet on wet, wet on dry? What is it? It is wet on wet, right? Yeah, you guys going to wet your paper. That's why when you wet your paper, uh, Hari Haran, please keep the paper down. Keep the paper down and then work on it. Okay. You have already wet your paper, correct? Now you guys need to ensure that you paint on it. So wait for your tutor to come back. Okay. Don't put a lot of water. Don't make it soggy. All right. So... I think he is here and let me take the spotlight from all of you all. Yeah. Shri Harsh, show me how you done. Have you wet your paper? Have you taken your paintbrush and wetted it? That's a practice. Where is the main one? Yes, Anaga, good. All right. So, Shri Harsh, you're the only one who's not um, done the actual work. Uh, if you're doing it, taking your time, it's okay. Take your time. You need to do it in a different paper altogether. Be, be Remember that, please. And Shreyas, if the flickering continues, you can you can use a, another you know mobile just to spotlight the work. It's the same. Yeah, it's maybe it's because it's too too close to the device. The light source is too close to the device. Okay. Oh, but still, it's the same. Okay, I'll do one thing. Uh, Mahesh? Yes, yes. Uh, just give me two minutes. I'll take it to the daylight. No problem. No problem. Do that. Okay. Okay. And you can uh, just voice over for that. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. Okay, uh, hopefully everybody has completed till now, right? I mean, it's a very easy thing. First, you need to sketch the windmill. Make sure you don't do it dark. How to do it lightly? Can anybody answer? I can unmute. How can you do it lightly? Okay, I saw first person raising her hand. Swasti. So we have to hold a pencil a bit far far. From the tip. Okay. Okay. I mean, holding a pencil bit far uh, is a good technique. Uh, that's a correct answer. And also about the pressure, right? If you allow enough pressure, then the pencil would be either dark or the drawing would be either dark or light. That's why when you're drawing it, it has to be very light. Okay. Everybody, this is a, this is a technique you need to you need to understand. Yes, Shreyanayak. Sir, and also depending on how tight or loose you hold the pencil. If you hold it really tightly, you tend to put more pressure, which makes it very dark. And when you hold your pencil a little loose, it you don't tend to give too much of pressure, which keeps the drawing light. Absolutely 100% correct. And that's how you would draw. Henceforth, not just this class, every class you need to do it lightly and don't use eraser. Best part, not to use eraser and correct the lines lightly because you have drawn it lightly, okay? 
at this point do you have any questions let me just uh, you know clear all the uh, raising hands here and do you guys have any questions you can raise your hand so that i can unmute okay uh, achyut has a question okay achyut what's the question sir since uh, in tikshi if i put the water it's getting little bit thin Hmm. And what paper do you have in your hand? Drawing sheets. Like, can you show it to us? Mm -hmm. The thin one, the thick one. The thick drawing sheet. And what is happening to that particular sheet? It's getting little bit thin. Show me. Yes, sir. It's getting a little bit like this. It's okay. It's okay. That's how it should be. Okay. As long as the paper is not becoming like very, very weak. When you put the water, some paper become very weak. No, that, should, that is not happening. Okay. Sri Harsh. I don't have any questions, sir. Why did you raise your hand? Okay, when you raise your hand, you should have a question, okay? All right, so Shreya Naik. Yes, sir. Sir, so uh, I have put on the water, sir, but it, I think it's starting to dry. So if it dries, do I put another uh, wash of water or do I just... Okay, normally we should not add more water. I think no, sir, it, after it because it is starting to dry. Okay, I get you. I get your point. By now, we should have started with the color. Uh, I was just waiting for the tutor to you know make the next step. Okay, hold on. In about yes, sir. second or two, we should be able to. Rahin Sheikh. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, I asked the water to paper as fully dried. What should I do now? Yeah, the same question. I just answered the question. Okay. Grishma Shri. Sir, I have uh, I have painted uh, um, I have put the water half uh, we put water full sir, or half sir? Full, full. Wherever the drawing is. Okay. Okay. Uh, Shreyas, what's the status? Can we start with the next step? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, you need to come out of the video and then let's start with the next step because the paper is getting dried and what do we do with the... So, uh, is it okay now, the video? Yes, yes, it is. It is. Slightly there is a shadow at the bottom. Uh, apart from that, it should be fine. Yes, that, that's the reflection of the... Phone. Phone. <clears throat> Okay, it's better now, I guess, right? Yes, it is better. Can you all see the work, everybody? Can you all see the work, everyone? Give, give us a thumbs up if you all can see the work, yeah. Okay, so paper is getting dry. So what do we do here onwards, uh, Shreyas? Uh, your, your, you can take up that question. Yes, so as we did the water wash in the background, This is just the wet on wet technique, which we did. First using the plain water. And then applying the colors. All right, uh, the wash is done. I'm taking the cobalt blue, cobalt blue, just on top with the light diluted color.
So instead of painting the whole sheet, if you leave some bikes in between here and there, that becomes the clouds. Okay. And then I'm just mixing the cobalt blue with the crimson lake. So it is just a mix of two colors, cobalt blue and crimson lake. and make sure to fill only the background part. Don't come inside this drawing which we did. Be careful while doing the outlines. Okay. I just mixed crimson lake for the cobalt blue. And I took the round brush. And when it's wet only, you have to apply the colors. I'm just giving the cloud patterns here. And if you want the white shades here and there in between, you can use the tissue paper. And there, here, it becomes the white. You can just take it off the water. Only wherever you need the white. Okay. And take any big size brush, the flat brush or the round brush, it should be the big size when you're doing the background part. Okay.
This is where we so want you to imagine. imagine, 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 imagine. One, second. One second. Yeah, this is where you guys need to look at the drawing, what we have done on the screen and imagine how the clouds can move, right? Don't apply the crimson red everywhere. And I'm seeing some of you guys are doing that. Anaga, watch out. You don't need that everywhere. It's just the cloud effect. When you look at the sky, there's a red. You know, why is it red? Because the sun is setting down, right? The clouds will change the color. So this is where we want you to imagine. Don't put everywhere and look at the work that the tutor has done. It is showing like an actual cloud. How to get that actual cloud effect, we've taught you. If you need white spaces in between, you can use the tissue paper, okay? So watch out. Your um, ideas, your imagination is absolutely yours. Okay, do not worry about that because your imagination is yours. Nobody can steal that. Remember that today. Okay, so that's it. That's all I wanted to say. Uh, Sir so Shreyas, over to you. Yes. So as we did on top, here for the down part for the grass, this is the same technique which we are going to do here. First with the water, the wet on wet. And I'm taking lemon yellow. The color lemon yellow. And mixing with the sap green. Is now the colors the lemon yellow and the sap green. Okay. You have to blend the colors when it's wet. Okay. And with a round brush, when it's wet, you can add some bushes here for the tree with the sap green and with a mix of Persian blue. So you get the darker shade of the green. Okay, keep doing, I'll, I'll just keep on check before we start the main, the windmill color.
if you mix a very little portion blue for the sap green you will get this shape So I'll give two minutes of time. At this point, at, at this point, I would like to look at a uh, few of the students' work. I would like to see Atharth, how Atharth is doing. Atharth, show me your work, please. Yadarth. Okay, um, far behind, I'm sure you will be able to catch up. Yes, and uh, let's look at Sejal's. Okay, yes, Sejal, good, thank you. And if you can hold it to the window, uh, your window, let's look at it. Sunetra, I'm looking at yours now, straight on the paper, please. Okay, okay, cool. The, the sky has come good and the plants, I feel the plants are pretty dark. You need to get the shades somewhere, the green shade. Yes, uh, Shri and I are good. Swastika, I'm good. Meanwhile, please everybody complete the work. Watercolor is with the technique, okay? Hariharan, show me your work, please. Hariharan. Come closer, come closer. Very nice, good. I like the sky that you have created. Very good. Very good. Keep it up. Very nice. Do you know how to pat, pat your back? Patting back is very simple. Take your hand and pat your back. Okay, he doesn't know that. Okay, we'll teach you. That is, that is a patting back is when you're proud, when you've done good, you need to pat your back. Okay. Yes, Swasti was just showing that. Yes, good Swasti. Thank you. Hariharan, if you do not know how to do the patting back, look at this. Swasti, can you show us how to pat your back? There you go. That's how you need to pat your back. Very good. He just did that. All right. Good. Overall, nice work, everybody. Um, Namish, Namish, I'm looking at yours now. The wash is good. The color, uh, the wash on the, on the paper is good. Get some dark color that clouds, uh, crimson. I think it's crimson. Uh, what is the paint that you have used, uh, Shreyas? Sorry? The, on the sky? Yeah. Crimson. I used uh, the cobalt blue and the mix of crimson lake. Yes, crimson lake. That's the one. Mani, uh, Namish, please use that, okay? Okay. Um, if that's what it is, Anisha Karning, we're looking at yours. Very good. Keep it up. Sana, how about you, Sana? Where are you? Can you show me your work, Sana? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Here's a quick, quick tip to all of you. Do not worry if things are not coming as you want them to. Okay. That is what you need to. You need to wait for your practice keep practicing every day okay and you need to have patience if you lose your patience nothing can be learned okay over to you okay 
I'm taking the round brush, the medium sized round brush. You can use the brush number seven or eight or nine. I'm taking light red. I'm taking the light red color. and the mix of very little orange. Okay, the light red and the very little mix of orange. Okay. And here I'm taking portion blue. Little mix of crimson leaf. Okay, careful when doing the outline, just don't go out of the building here. and very light of the portion blue here. Okay, I'll, I'll leave some time for to dry. Another, uh, just a quick little thing, another tip that I would want to give all of you all is when you see um, a dark shade, you can hold your brush and slowly move it. The brush will soak the water. That's when it, it will create that light effect, right? For example, on the, on the windmill, the body of the windmill, you, you, if you see your tutor was just holding the brush and then slightly moving that you know, towards the left hand side, right? That's when there is a white kind of a shade. Correct me if I'm wrong, Shreyas. Yes, 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 correct. The light, the, the color needs to be light. And for that, you need to hold your brush and start moving slowly. Your brush will soak all the water and then it'll be light, okay? Yes, for that you have to make your brush a little dry so that the water will soak. And and becomes this highlight part, like this. 
No, sorry. Yes, go on, please. Yes, can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. So when you make your brush dry and then the water will soak for your brush and becomes the highlight part here and the colors which shows here the differentiate of the light and the mid tone here. And once your sheet is dry, and then we begin with the straight lines here. So yeah, for the next step, I'll be taking the brush number seven or even smaller, you can also take the brush size of number four or five. Like for the thin line, we have to give pure for the straight line. And I mixed crimson lake and cobalt blue, which comes this color here. Um, one second, Ashrayas, I'm so sorry. I think, uh, you know, I personally feel that yes. we need to show them the blending one more time. Yes, so uh, you mean the mixing colors or the applying? Yeah, I mean, with the colors, if you, if you, if you could just, uh, you know, blend it one more time, how to get that highlight, it will be good. This, this one, right? Yeah, that and the blending part, I guess. Okay. So I'll just quickly show you the blending part. So once you make the sheet wet with the plain water, and then applying the cobalt blue and crimson lake. So here becomes the two colors here. And when you blend these two colors, it will create the mid-tone color and make the brush little dry. And then if you just take the color of the sheet and slowly moving the brush in one corner gives you the highlight tone. See, you can here see the difference of highlight and the mid tone here. Okay. Yeah. 
Yes, all of you got it, I guess. Yes, was that helpful? You guys can show me thumbs up. Yes. Yes, now apply the same technique on the clouds as well, everybody. Now the clouds are on your imagination. That's why we are not saying the shape has to be this way, that way, right? The cloud does not have any shape. Like it has a lot of shapes. That's what it is. There is no particular shapes. So you design that you go ahead and create out of your imagination, okay? But you saw the technique, learn the technique. First, apply those colors, then dry your brush and then slowly move them, okay? Okay, Shreyas. Yes. And then I'm taking the small size brush, the same color which we did here, the mix of Crimson Lake and the Cobalt Blue. Just make your color a little darker, which is the mid-tone. And then apply the colors. The line should be very thin. Okay. And then in one corner, you can just make a little thick. This is just the thick and thin lines here. And the same goes this side. See, I made it thick here and slowly when it's reaching the building, I made it thin. Should look like a fan. Okay, this is the mid-tone, not too dark, not too light. Okay, I'll just keep on check. I'll give some time.
see this is just the simple lines and i just made it little thick in the corners the four corners here okay no no you can't remove the masking tape the work is not yet done the work is not yet done i'll let you know when the work is finished and with a very small size zero brush i'm taking the persian blue which is the dark color and i'm adding the small windows here Yeah. This is the zero size brush. The dark tone has to be very thin, like strokes. this is the shadow you can also mix a very little black if you want the darkest shade and then just the strokes here i'll be adding the strokes Yeah. And with the darker brown I just gave the shadow effect on top. You can just make the markings, the design, whatever you want on top, and it should be very thin line. Okay. 
Yeah, the zero size brush. And with the darkest shade of the brown, just for the shadow. Only on one side, I made it dark outline here. Okay. can just give the designs or add the brick effect on the building just the small textures with the brown as you did for the windows here the small tiny box Just the lines texture here and there. It should be very light and dark. Yeah. And the last and final step. Taking the zero size brush again. Mixing the darkest shade of blue, which is the Persian blue. I'm just applying the outline. Just giving the outline with the dark color. And the line has to be very thin. A zero size brush. The line has to be very, very thin. And then giving the lines here.
Jepang. Just the lines, thin lines. The same goes on the other side. This is just the last and final strokes. Right. Also, I just gave the strokes, the line patterns, pure. Okay. Right, the work is done. I just keep on check. So after when it completely dries and then we are removing the masking tapes. Just slowly remove the masking tapes. Here is the work. Painting is done. Okay, it's time to keep a look at, uh, take a look at what uh, students have done. 
we totally understand if you are not if you have not finished it we totally understand that okay first person who is showing there is shri harsh shri harsh we like the background that you have created very good very good um everything is good about your work maybe the hands of the winds wind meal right windmill can be a little longer right otherwise still it looks good shri harsh keep it up hari haran good job very good like the work that you have done very good keep it up straight lines needs to be good okay next time the lines needs to be good hari haran just watch out on the lines that's why you need to use this the point zero brush okay tanisha highlighting the work one second so that your tutor can also look at that uh whoever is showing the work to us i am highlighting their work so that your tutor can take a look at it swasti so, where's your work jigisha where are you sunetra savant i have just highlighted you uh vibha krishna one second okay we have we have tanisha madhav nandan sunetra savant and vibha krishna okay looking at all of your work give us a second first i'm taking on uh, vibha of krishna oh, so sorry it's uh, vibhas sorry somebody was hiding inside i did not know whether it was vibha or uh, vibha all right both of you okay um, vibha i'll take you on your screen your screen I'll take it from there okay vibha go to your screen i'll take it from either one of you go to your computer i'll take it from there yes tanisha's work is really good yes i agree so let's the nice blending one part by also one. the colors for the background yes i agree totally agree with that it's really cool um background shading work that you have done so viba what you are holding as well we we'll love the background that you have given but what i would say is there has to be cloud effect you know what i mean like there is in your way if this is how the cloud that you want to show and that's exactly how it is showing which is good right uh which is all the work that you have done including the grass and the bushes very good viva keep it up i can see a lot of improvement viva show me yours hmm okay good good nice the clouds can also have little you know little more white in it you know what i mean when you blend there has to be white mix of both the colors very good vibe of keep it up tanisha as uh, shreyas mentioned it's really beautiful keep up the good work mixing the colors are beautiful now while you guys are here i also wanted to tell you guys that we wanted a 30 seconds video of what do you think about kepler school all of you we sent you the request on the group please ensure that you guys send across the feedback what you guys think about your own school your art school okay it's a video uh, that we wanted okay sunetra savant i don't know where you went but uh, we've spoke of uh, tanisha so i'm taking the highlight there um madhav nandan looking at madhav nandan's work are you using 0.0 brush then then yeah i know i know you're not using that if you're not using it you won't get the right effect that is not point 0 it is point 1 or 2 but but still the lines needs to be straight okay good work on the background like the color mixing uh, but you need to still work on the straight lines overall nice work keep it up so next set of students what lighting you all jigisha next set of students i'm just highlighting you all one second one quick moment mayra anishka karning and then 
Yatarta yatarta zio. Okay. All right. There you go. So I don't know Shreyas is here or not. I think he's he's got some uh, connection issues. He's not here. Shreyas, are you there? Okay. I'll take this. Um. First, let me look at uh, Anishka Karnings. Very bright and nice work, Anishka. Very good. Uh, come, come closer so that we can look into it even better. Nice, beautiful. Blending at the background is beautiful. The sky um, and the shading and the and every detail out there is really good. Keep it up. Nice work. Now looking at uh, Swasti Kadam. Swasti, come closer, come closer to the video. Yes, yes. The wings of the windmill can be a little longer. Okay, that one quick feedback. Otherwise, otherwise everything is good there. Keep up the good work. Jigisha. So the wing, the wings of the windmill, right? It's not in proportion. Apart from that, I think the blending of on the sky, the grass, everything is good. Keep it up. Myra, come closer. Okay, need to work on that, Jigisha. Okay. I'm I'm might be a little hard on the older students. But you need to understand that is only because we need you to improve. It's all, it's already close to 12 months or more than that. You guys need to improve on those straight lines and and other functioning of some of the details there. Uh, Myra Bhagat, get closer. Get the work closer to the window. Yeah. Grass, shade on the grass and the uh, background on the cloud. Very good, Myra. Keep up the good work. Windmills, all, all, also the wind, uh, the wings of the mill, that windmill, right? Just watch out the shape of those, right? Some of the wings are going behind that particular building. It has to be on top of that. You, you're getting what I'm saying, Myra? The Show me which one is going behind, which wing is going behind. Yes, one cannot be front and one cannot be behind. It has to be in the front. Okay, understood? Okay, good. Grishma, Grishma, nice colors you've used, good one, but you need to know how to blend it. Um, tell us, tell us where did you find difficult? Sir, I, uh, here sir. Blending. Blending color is not a difficult technique. What I would do is I have the video of the technique that your tutor was teaching, the blending. I'll put it in the group, watch it, practice it, and then you can perform. Okay? Okay, sir. All right. Yatharth or Sejal, whose work is this? Sejal, since Sejal is holding it. Background is good. Clouds, correct, good. Wind mills wings needs to be worked on. Apart from that, I think I think most of the work is good. Keep it up. Okay, Yatharth is. Um, yeah, I mean, you guys have learned how to blend both the colors, which I can see that grassland, which I can clearly see the horizon, and on top of the land there is a building, the wings of the mill. One one wing is gone behind. Just watch out on that. It cannot happen that way. Okay. Yatharth, understood? Give me a thumbs up if you understood. Yes. That's about it. Okay. Samanvita. Samanvita. Yes. Yes. Just work on the wings. Next time when you do, do the same thing, just work on the wing. Atisha Sudhir. Look, the creative aspect of Atisha is really beautiful. I like it, okay? But I want you to learn the technique when we teach you certain things, okay? I like the creativity that you're bringing in, but I want you to work on the uh, technique that we are teaching you, okay? The wing mill, windmills, wings, and the building, everything, whatever that we did, don't skip it. 
Later, you perform these things, you know, the creative aspect. But if you had to improvise on the same work that we have shown you, then good. But don't, don't change the work because some of the techniques are very important. Manya, good work. Yeshita, Yeshita, very beautiful. Keep it up. Mridula, yes, the clouds are really beautiful. Keep it up. Okay, so I think I think some of you guys are also working on your own and then trying to sell or probably present some of your work, which I'm sure you guys are doing a great job. Keep it up. All of you, um, with that, we can end the session. But here you go, 26 people, 26 students. Please send us your video of 30 seconds. What do you think about your school? I'm not asking like an hour uh, you know, feedback, right? 30 seconds. Let us know what do you think about your school? Which school? Keppel Art School, not other schools, right? I'm talking about our school, your school, okay? All right, everyone. If that is all it is, uh, if you don't have any questions, I shall see you tomorrow at four o'clock. Okay. All right, then I shall uh, stop the recording first of all.